push our menu button and get this going. Hey there guys, I'm Firebird BOI06 over on Twitch, Steve Games on YouTube. Welcome to the stream, whether you are joining live on Twitch or you are joining uh, afterwards on YouTube. Uh, we're going into our second part of Deus Ex Human Revolution's Director's Cut. Um, <coughs> Uh, we'll be continuing just after the events of uh, at the Milwaukee Junction, and I did a bit of research to make sure uh, that up to that point you don't have to worry about for hitting the. Um, uh, what am I trying to say? For hitting the uh, stealthy uh, playthrough requirement. So uh, happily, it starts at this point, <laughs> and then. Uh, that will be our biggest concern here on out. And for those that are wondering, yes, Cooper is here. He's back there at the top of the camera, the uh, black blob. <laughs> Excuse me. He's been chilling out because normally he's in his box at this point. Anyway. We're going to just hop into it. So unfortunately we did fail in uh, saving the hostage in, uh, in the Milwaukee Junction. Really not thrilled about that, but uh, I don't believe there's much that can be done about that. You know what, I am going to see if I can get a side here. There it is. Perfect. All right. <coughs> because ideally, one thing I want to try and do is find all of the uh, ebooks in this game, which I haven't managed to do before. Um, as that is one of my final, uh, one of the two achievements I have left in this game. Yes, I'm an achievement whore. Okay. There it is. Oh, it's great that you're going to give me a video guide, but I do not want a video guide. Show me a text version so that I can uh, hunt these down. Um, in truth, though, I might have already uh, missed <laughs> some. Oh well, I can always do that another time. Yeah, wow. Wow. I, uh... Yeah, I think I missed at least two, possibly... Oh no, it looks like I missed one. Oh well. That's, uh... I'm just not going to focus on that then. Oh well. Whoopsie. Alright. Um, I don't really remember what it is I'm doing right this moment. But I think I saw that we have... Yes, we do have a Praxis kit. Alright. Um, so in the interest of sneaking around, we are going to get the move and throw heavy objects. <coughs> It will consume a little bit of our um, energy when we use it, but that way we can, say, lift the vending machines around, and that will be very useful in us trying to get around. <coughs> I think it's disgusting how public opinion has turned on Davis so quickly. Like it's his fault these lunatics keep attacking us. People seem to think we're hiding. Okay. So if I remember correctly, yeah, I don't think we have security rating 3. I don't even know for sure if we have security rating 2. 
Mm, Pritchard. What are we going to you for? I seriously well, don't remember. If it isn't Mahatma Gandhi himself. Come to honor us all with his life-preserving presence. If this is about the typhoon, I'll get to it in a minute. Now, Pritchard. I didn't risk my neck to have you lose it in a pile of CPUs and SCSI adapters. Well, look at you, using the big words. Don't think just because you hacked through the plant security system so fast that you're an expert on everything computer. There's a reason I can't examine the typhoon yet. Do tell. For your information, I am running a diagnostic sweep on our network and router security to find out how Sanders Hacker got a hold of our codes. I'd have thought the first question to ask is, whose codes were they? Unless you already know. Stick to kicking down doors and shooting people, Jensen, and stop trying to do my job. I guarantee you we'll get along better that way. Someone's feisty. Alright, I have to meet with Seraph in the penthouse. Hmm. Ebook. Nature of neuroplasticity. Didn't really do anything for me. I still want to keep an eye on those ebooks, though. Uh, because they will grant me more uh, experience. Oh, hello, drawer. Nuke virus software. Thank you. Oh, I can't take them. I keep hitting the wrong button. I can't take them because the inventory can only uh, have so many things in here. So... Oh, what to... What to do... What what good is the beer for, anyway? Additional five health points. Well, why not? Hmm? Concussion grenade. Painkillers, they go away after a while. Once these extra points have been depleted, they will not regenerate. Oh, so I can use it right away. Very well. Yeah, there we go. We have a health up to 130 now. That'll come in handy whenever we get into a combat scenario again. And yes, I am meticulously looking around the room, uh, hoping I don't miss anything, because the other day we try to go through there and apparently I missed a couple things whoops security rating 2 I do not have the ability right now to hack level 2 hell if I know what did Bill Gates and Steve Jobs talk about I bet he's trying to convince him to come out of hiding make a statement oh let's see it'd be really handy if I had um something level one to hack I mean then there'd be at least uh, uh, something to get a bit of experience on oh open door why not <coughs> someone isn't locking their office hmm. All right, vacuum robots. All right, two computers, drawer with painkillers. We've got a pocket secretary, and we have wine. But of course, our inventory is full, so we can't take it. Rating three, security hub. Really. Door, no doors connected. This is only going to let me view the cameras. Yeah, oh well. Maybe I need to consider upgrading my inventory. Because clearly I'm not going to be able to get some very useful information or uh, useful equipment without one. Without an increase, I should say. At least so far, because I don't know how to sell other items. Hearts of Steel. It must have been an actual, like, novel. No actual drawers there for me to take. 
Mm, excuse me. Okay. Hold on to nothing. I don't think I can actively visit the uh, women's restroom at the moment. Level 3. Level 2. We don't know that for sure. and if they have on, just one level 1 terminal. That's all I would like. Well, I guess I am just going to uh, head on down to uh, this elevator then. I'm sure this won't be a very relaxing chat with I'm telling you here Seraph. He might not have put the gun in Sanders' hand, but it was Taggart's speech to the UN that started all this. William Taggart is nothing if not a shrewd political operator. You know that, David. So for the sake of appearances, I have to look him in the eye and let him bullshit me? With a smile. Always with a smile. We'll talk later. Yeah, you wanted to see me? Yeah, how are you feeling? I've had better days. Well, when we're done here, check him at Dr. Markovic at the limb clinic downtown. Can't hurt to get a checkup. If you insist. Listen, about Sanders? Yeah, about Sanders. What the hell were you thinking? Letting him slip away like that? I sent you in there to take care of things. Let's see. We can take charge. You asked me to deal with the situation, and that's what I did. I'm hoping it'll pay off later. Sanders won't rest until he learns who set him up. Or Sanders isn't the mastermind behind this. <clears throat> I'm hoping it'll pay off for us later. Sanders was furious when he found out his hacker was augmented. He's not going to rest till he finds out who set him up. Oh, and you're naive enough to think he'll share the information when he gets it. I thought you were ready for this, Adam. I am. Today's attack was just a shell game being run by somebody else. I intend to find out who <coughs> and why so that it never happens to anybody again. Good, because so do I. That hacker in Sanders' group, you're sure he was augmented? I pulled his cables out myself. Yeah, well, the police are saying he's not, and they're refusing to let me see the body, no matter how much money I threaten to pull from their retirement fund. Maybe someone else is offering more. So what do you want me to do, boss? We have to get a look at the corpse. You still got friends on the force? You think, uh... You think one of them will let you into the morgue? Depends who I run into. Get over to the station and find a way inside. Because if that hacker was augmented, his neural hub might tell us who he was. Contact me when you've gotten a hold of it. Um, yeah, we'll ask him what's going on. What you're asking me to do, it's not exactly legal. No, it isn't. You got a problem with that? Just figured I'd point it out. Oh, thanks. And believe me, if I had another option, we'd be taking it. But these past six months, it seems like all the influence I built up in this city just dried up and blew away. Well, you were able to keep SWAT from infiltrating the plant until I got the typhoon. Just barely. And now someone else is pulling strings to keep us in the dark? We need that neural hub, son. It's key to finding out who's behind these attacks. And taking up the men who did it. I'm on it. Alrighty. That's gonna be fun for us, isn't it? That hacker's not gonna be sitting still for long. Get over to the station and find a way inside. Alright, so I know last time we were in this room was six months ago, so things could have moved around. 
I am very interested to see if there's anything I can nab while I'm in here. It's a newspaper, not gonna bother. Well, the only thing I really want to point out, when we started this game, it was the 2027 baseball season. Six months later, um, yeah, I guess it could be winding down, but that'd be a very specific time frame. All right, through here. Hello, Athena. You have a newspaper, but I'm not really gonna bother with that. Oh, what's this? Oh, an unlabeled restroom? Really? Oh, I guess I'm taking the elevator down then. <coughs> and of course, those of you that are watching, I do want to thank you guys for doing exactly that. It's great having you in here. Oh, I do have an office. How about that? Mm, apparently it's right above us. And with that being blue and the S on it, I bet that means it's a side mission. Oh, well, that explains why the door was unlocked. Hmm, I see. Hey, Jensen, glad to see ya. Now I sound like his girlfriend or something. You want to say that a little louder there? Hey, Jensen. Man, it's good to see you. I'm glad you're back. How are you holding up? I manage. I'm sorry about Megan. I know it must be hard. For a while, we thought you were a goner, too. Everything's going to shit. The attack on HQ, and now this mess with the factory. Yeah. Tough times all around. How about you, Corella? You okay? I don't know. I... Uh, I fucked up. I mean bad. What happened? Well, a couple of months ago, me and Tyndall, you know, one of Pritchard's techs, we started sneaking out some neuropazine from one of the labs. Jesus, Tim. You realize this could get you fired. Worse, arrested, if the company chooses to prosecute. What were you thinking? I know. It's just... it's complicated. I didn't want to do it at first, but there were good reasons. Anyway... Now I want out, but Tyndall has security footage of me stealing the stuff and says he'll expose me if I ever stop helping him. I'm in a bad spot, Adam. I need that footage back. I know you're busy with everything that's going on right now, but I could really use your help. Hmm. Let's see about... How about Tyndall? Can't you reason with him? You could try, but Tyndall's a pretty driven guy. I mean, the guy's like a rock. You'd need a Casey Og or something to crack him. Casey? Social Enhancer. It's an augmentation designed to read people's reactions and behavioral patterns. Higher end series even allows you to directly influence people with pheromones or something. Hmm. Pretty ballsy stealing a patented drug from a secure lab. How'd you manage to do it? Both Tyndall and I worked the night shift every other week. I stashed the neuropocene in a bag while he edited the security footage. Guess he kept part of it. No, well, it's smart for, you know, his own sake. All right. Here, we'll accept it. Tell me more. Really? Wow, thanks, Adam. I thought I was done for. The security footage will probably be on his apartment <clears throat> computer. Meet me in front of the subway station parking lot once you get a hold of it. I got it from here. So I don't know if that's going to be something we'll take care of right away, but uh, if we truly want to, at least we have the option. So now that I know this is my office, um, wait, I don't remember my own code, seriously? That's kind of lame, but okay. Well, let's go down. And out to the actual city of Detroit. This whole thing just brings back 
bad memories. I love working here, but it's hard knowing that at any second... God, I can't talk about it. What if another bunch of radicals burst through the door like right now? All right, so there are hubs in the in uh, in this game, and a number of them are for uh, the cities we visit. So, I mean, clearly the first one is going to be Detroit, but <clears throat> Mrs. Reed. Oh, Adam, I'm sorry you startled me, and please call me Cassandra. You and Megan were together long enough. I was waiting for you. Out here. Why not come meet me inside? I don't know. I guess I'm just not ready. This is where you work, but to me, this is also the place where I lost my daughter. Hmm. I know what you mean. It's never been the same for me either. I guess it's not meant to be easy. It seems there's just no right way to deal with something like this. And I can't even begin to imagine how things have been for you after all you've been through. Yeah. A lot of things changed six months ago. I can't get over how much they've changed you. At first, I couldn't even believe you were still alive. How do you handle all of this? <laughs> How do I handle it all? I never asked for this. No, we won't go the stereotypical Jensen route. They did what they had to do to save me. And in a way, I can do more now than I ever could. I'm glad to know you take it so well. Many of us wouldn't be able to cope so easily with such dramatic changes. Can I ask why you wanted to see me? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. I'm here about Megan. About what happened to her, or rather, about the investigation into what happened. What about it? Well, simply put, I feel something is not quite right with the way the case was handled. You think there was some foul play involved? I do. Call it mother's intuition. But when speaking to some of the investigators, there were a lot of inconsistencies. And then I met this detective, a man called Chase. He agreed things weren't handled by the book, although he has no proof. And now you want to find out more. I'll never Who doesn't want to find out more, huh? Again, Adam. I'll never get a call from her to ask how I've been, or have the chance to ask her about her day. She was stolen from me. However unjustified this all is, I still want to know why it happened. I can see why she loved you. Not even that degree of mechanical modification could change what she saw in you. Please, will you help me find out what really happened to her? I never got a chance to investigate the attack myself. I'll look into it. Thank you. This means the world to me, Adam. Why wouldn't really? we, though, honestly? The first honestly. thing I to do is meet with this detective, Chase. Good. He works part-time as a security guard in an apartment building on Brooklyn Court. I'll be waiting for you in your apartment lobby once you're done. Why does a detective need to work part-time as a security guard? Oh, he retired soon after the case. I don't really know the details. Maybe he'll tell you more. I'm on it. All right, so we see that our... Uh, <laughs> Our screen is kind of riddled with four different things we can be doing right now, at least. Really but the hub is full of people having their own conversations, full of things to interact with and even search. So I'm not sure which mission is which. Um, and of course I can't remember what the run button is. Oh well. Or if there's a run button, come to think of it. But I'm just going to make our way to main mission 5, whatever that is.
I think this is the right way to go anyway. Oh man, Eliza is so hot. Okay. You got that neural hub yet? You're asking me to pull up a heist, boss, inside a police station. It's gonna take time. Right. Well, if you can't talk your way past the lobby, there's gotta be another entrance outside, in back or on the roof. Save the frontal assault as a last resort. Frontal assault, really? Well, if mission five is the sneaking in there. I don't know. Uh, I feel like I shouldn't go down that hole quite yet with a manhole. Oh, I see someone's joined in the stream. Hi there, thanks for coming in. Seriously. Alright. Give me experience just for ending up over here. How about that? Hello. How are we feeling today? No, oh, nothing in that. That's right, I don't really have the space to take anything anyway. Oh, hello. So you look around long enough, there's all sorts of secrets around these hub cities. No idea why one dumpster is able to be moved and the other isn't. Oh, credit chip. Hello. Thank you. That's good, Buddha. That's good. Hopefully that doesn't change for you or anything. Yeah, I gotta worry too much about talking to them. Alright, I'm actually getting further away from one of my missions, so... Starting to think I need to double back. Cause now I'm trying to make my way to mission six. Since five was the uh, police station, I think six is the limb clinic. Most ridiculous idea I've ever heard. Alright, so again, I think we're getting close to the little... Yep, there it is. The Limb Clinic. A place where people who are augmented, like ourselves, can come on in and... ...can get uh, drugs needed to fight off rejection of their augments. And maybe get some new ones. Dramatic ah, entrance. Mr. Jensen, David Serov told me you'd be dropping by. I've just been reviewing the test results we received on you last week. Should I start rolling up my sleeves? Surprisingly, no. I see no trace of glial tissue buildup in any of your charts. It's been six months, Doc. Shouldn't I be under opposite shots by now? One would think, but these test results show no signs of implant rejection. If anything, the bond between tissue and electrode seems to be getting stronger. So I'm free to go? Well, Mr. Serif did ask me to discuss 
another topic with you. You are aware oh. that several precautionary measures had to be put into place during your first surgery? Not all of my implants were switched on, I know. The damage caused by the hematoma had to be taken into account. Your brain needed time to recover, to get used to the mechanical neural processors and turn them on naturally over time. Cut to the chase, Doc. What does Seraph want? He feels that you might be ready to speed up the activation process using special software known as Praxis Kits. You mean I don't have to wait for my augmentations to kick in naturally anymore? You can, if you prefer. But Mr. Seraph did make a generous donation to Lim in your name, thus ensuring that Praxis software linked to your particular neuro enhancements would always be available to you and you alone. Oh, how nice of him. Take a look. All right, added 5,000 credits. Oh, how wonderful. All right, see what we can get. Uh, I have no interest in using Typhoon. Or the typhoon but there are two praxis kits but we can only get one right now that's Very fine well, by Mr. me Jensen. use it in good health okay so with another praxis kit oh let's see I have one all right um Trying to remember. Oh, that's the cloak system. Okay, I need two in order to activate. Alright, I guess I have to ask the uh, doctors or talk to them in order to get more Praxis kits, but of course I don't have the money for another right now. So. Building wings, a better tomorrow. It's inspirational stuff right there. I've never been under anesthesia before. Is it true they stop your heart and the machine does your breathing? More or less. I know it sounds a little hair raising, but we do it every day, several times over. It's a very safe procedure. Alright, looking through, trying to find anything I can just nab. Oh, hey, we just got another Praxis point. Excellent. So I'm going to uh, get that stealth turned on. That'll be very useful for us. Alright, three seconds per energy cell. So over time we can uh, increase the cloak's effectiveness Not while you're but for now it's a very big drain on our battery hmm yeah not really a whole lot here for me to even consider taking. And the computer's unlocked too. Well, at least I was able to look at that ebook and get uh, one more Praxis point taken care of. Testing is not against the law. I know that, officer. But some of those guys. All right, walking back out to Detroit. Hmm. Having that uh, stealth is really going to, or that cloak is going to come in handy when we. Are you finished at the clinic? For now. Good. Right now, I want to know who that corpse is. Head over to the police station and get his neural hub. And Adam. If you can't talk your way in, consider making a strategic retreat. There's got to be another entrance on the side of the building. 
All right. I'm closer to, uh... Oh, wait. Maybe I can sell some of the stuff I have no intention of using here. You got anything you want to buy or sell? I'm the guy you want to deal with. Everything's on the computer, right at your fingertips. Yeah, come on. Let me sell you some of my stuff. Silenced Sniper. Silent Lethal Weapon. Yep, definitely gonna sell it. I do not have much of an interest in killing others right now. As such, I do also intend on selling... ...some of that. See you soon. Oh, How may I be? I did want to look at what he had up for sale, though. What's this? Oh, upgrade kit. Automatic cloaking device. Oh, unlocking device. I read that wrong. And a mine and template. Combined with a grenade to create a mine of the same type. Be sure to tell all your friends. It's just not the cops. <laughs> all right. At least I was able to unload a lot of that. Just on the other side of here. Yeah, let's try this other way. Meet with Detective Chase. Hello there. Well, you must be Adam Jensen. A keen observation. Mrs. Reed told me you might pay me a visit. And don't take this the wrong way, but you're kind of hard to miss. Oh, well, to take thank you. A compliment. She told me you might have information regarding Megan Reed's case and the attack on Seraph headquarters. Oh, boy, what a mess. Total pissing match. We had the feds on our ass, orders from three different departments, and pressure from so many lobbyists it felt like being the scrawny new kid in the prison shower. It is a very high-profile case. Mrs. Reed said you thought some procedures were overlooked. You got that right. I mean, you know how it is. Mrs. Reed told me you used to be a cop. There's always cases where you see the lazy officers taking shortcuts. But this... this was different. Different how? Too much stuff got... Do overlooked. tell. People seemed way too eager to jump to conclusions, and every time I was remotely insistent, I got turned down by ranking officers. People wanted to bury this thing fast. That's never a good sign. Surely you have something more substantial than this. Yeah, well, that's where you come in. I got a couple of leads I could never fully investigate. I started poking around, but these government-type agents just gave me the creeps. I, I got scared. Months away from retirement, I didn't want to fuck things up. But you? You obviously have the means to get to the bottom of this. So what have you got? First off, there's a rumor that the order to close the investigation came from higher up. Maybe even outside the local department. Hmm. Anything like that would have passed through Captain Penn. There might be traces of this left on his office computer. Guess I'll have to pay a visit to the local precinct. Well, well, Handy that we're going there already. There was an officer assigned to the case, Chet Wagner. He's not what you call a choir boy. And when he suddenly got brought on the case, I got suspicious. Somebody wanted him there. And I'm pretty sure he tampered with some of the evidence. You should talk to him. Find out what he knows. Okay. Oh, we're gonna I'll find out. chat with Officer Wagner. You'll most likely find him in the lobby. He got retrograded from his conduct, and he takes depositions now. He won't budge easily, but I'm pretty sure you can find some data <coughs> on him on his desktop. His office is on the third floor. He might find something there to help loosen up his tongue. Anything else worth looking into? Yeah, when the order came down to close the case, the bulk of the evidence was stashed in a storage locker. Maybe you can find some interesting stuff in there. It's on the alley right next to the station. The code is 40... 4891. But I know an outside agency had access to that locker, so be careful. Thanks for the heads up. Bah, it's, it's nothing. And, uh, oh, uh, please. Don't bother coming back here with details. 
Don't get me wrong, I'm glad to help. But the less I know about this case, the better I'll feel. Fair That's enough. All I need for now. All right. So, yeah, there's a lot to do now at the precinct. So, before we go there, uh, let us find our way to, um, uh, where is it? Side two. The only one <laughs> that isn't at the precinct right now. Oh. Yeah, it looks like going this way is the best route. I think. Oh, hello. Keypad 2. Yeah, well, that's, that's just great. Well, there's gotta be another way over, right? Yeah, no, he's not gonna just hop on up there. Um, so I think we'll just lift this dumpster, and I'm not gonna be able to, I don't think I can toss it up. Because I don't want these citizens to, you know, get frightened of me or anything like that. Well, let's try the ladder here. Maybe there's a walkway above I can't see from here. Da -da -da. Hmm. Oh. Well, there might be. I don't know if I have the jump capability to reach that or not. Hey, Buddha, uh, if you're still here, can you tell me if uh, if you're still uh, seeing the stream because on my own tablet it it said I went offline and I have no idea why it did that. At least I didn't mess with it. All right, we've got a door I can access. That's probably exactly what we're going to do because I don't see anything else noteworthy here. Excuse me. Of course, no idea where I am. There's probably reason enough to be sneaky and at least check my corners nothing on the radar yet security 2 bad grab okay I was hoping for like a, a ventilation system to use. Some duct work, if you will. Huh. Alright, where does this go out to? Alright, just another side around here. And hmm, I'm I'm actually really convinced that didn't do anything for me. Mm, pardon me. So right now, doesn't look like there's much of a reason to be in this building. So we'll go back the way we came, and I will make an attempt to jump using the. Uh, 
makeshift ramp that's over here. No, it's not there. It was... Getting myself all kinds of... Twisted around. Oh, that's right. It was down a little bit. Before we go on, I'm gonna <laughs> let's see if there is a way to run. Oh, left bumper. All right. And death. I don't know if I jumped terribly or what happened. Hey, Steve, how you doing? Nope, nope, nope. Ooh. Okay, maybe I can come back to that later. Because, <laughs> wow, if uh, that's what's going to happen, you know, that, that can wait. What is going on? All right. We'll just load back and uh, we'll go into the precinct because maybe I need something different to deal with that oh Steve you're hosting now thanks yeah for those that are unaware uh, you can go to twitch.tv uh, slash kentishman30 k-e-n-t-i-s-h-m-a-n 30 uh, he's always <laughs> playing something good um I am on a day off, yes. And, and really, you like this new setup? It's just on top of the TV. <coughs> Which, um, you know, Gary was insistent on uh, having done. Oh, come on, how, how could I not do that for you? Right, yeah, this way. Good, good. Now, maybe one of these days I'll show everyone uh, more of the house. And what is going on? Um, yeah, I'm sure the chair looks a little odd. Nah, like, don't get me wrong. Absolutely love him, but good grief. Of course, with the uh, new place not having a lot of space for anything, I, I, I get why he wants things a certain way. Just more annoying than anything. Okay. Let's see how we're going to do this. Because it's not suggested to do the frontal assault. So... Hmm. Not sure. Holy moly! Our viewer count just jumped up. Hi there, everyone. Welcome uh, to the stream. We're doing some Deus Ex Human Revolution. Like, like seriously, that stream count jumped out of nowhere. Chuck his stuff out. <laughs> oh no, he needs it. Let's uh, let's be perfectly clear here. Save it. <laughs> yeah, it's uh. It's a small space, not a whole lot of uh, storage or closet room, but we're going to make it work. We almost have to. Before I get too much further. Alright, that's how it's done. Cool. Like I said, that is uh, me turning on the cloak. Problem is, it does not give me a lot of juice at this point. 
have to be very careful about when I turn that on. Because while I did just have one battery replenish itself, it's... Get lost. Oh, he's alarmed. I better move. I don't know why he wants me to get lost, but uh, yeah, I better get out of his way then. What the heck? But, that's just a temporary deal. As he is now going to know when it's like to go to sleep. I'd really prefer it if you did not go in there. It really is. Uh, at this point, anyway. Uh, it only takes three seconds for that battery to deplete itself right now. Have you played this before, Steve? I did not know that anyone would be in here. Alright, so I'll want to be a little more careful here. You know, just so I don't uh, arouse too much suspicion. Okay. Now I figured it would be something that you would enjoy playing. <laughs> or did you not enjoy it? Just knock you guys out. There you go. Good night. Okay, I always want to try and move crates in the event that there is a... Uh... Oh, yeah. No, that's one of the big issues I have with, with this game, that... Uh... The controls are so vastly different from any other title out there. You know, hitting X to accept instead of A. And as far as I know, there's no real good reason for it. Alright, let's move you away from electrocution, shall we? I wonder where that goes. Alright, nothing there. No, they aren't. Of course, then again, this isn't really your standard FPS either. Hmm. So... Oh yeah, the Ubisoft games have a pretty standard control deal. What is going on? Twitch app keeps uh, saying that I've gone offline, and I don't know why that is. As far as I know, no one else is having that issue. Or I assume so, or else you'd be telling me. Look, I mean, leaving a mess around here. They probably think it's a mess. I call it feng shui. Alright, the police? How much... Se no, 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 too much security. Too much security. Oh, but I do want to flip that. So now there shouldn't be any worry about electrocution. Um. Real upset that I can't uh, use that method, though. Hello. Oh, didn't want that. These folks are friendly, at least. Or they're not going to do anything to me. Um, oh, okay, this isn't the one I went through. Hey, Lively Fern! Uh, f finally did what?
All right, I think, yep, this is the one. 4891, we're just gonna input the code. And we will investigate all these ebooks. I'm not going to worry too much about actually reading them. Find all evidence related to the case. What is in here? Something I can't mess with right now. So, can I... Okay, no, I can't close the door. Fine, then. But no, Lively, uh, what, what is it you have finally done? Oh, where does this door go? Oh, hello. Hmm. Not going that way. Got it. Alright. At this point, I don't think I have any other choice but to visit the PD station. Oh, and this will not be easy. I have to f try and infiltrate the station completely by stealth and not be seen. Or at least not be seen anywhere I'm not supposed to be. La la la. Excuse me, pardon me. All right. Back top. No, oh, what was that? Oh, that's just a dumpster. Back top side. We've seen everything relating to the case. So now everything we have to do is inside the station. Great. Oh, that was the train. Okay. Oh, well, let's just walk on through. Because it is completely possible to do some of the things we need to do and just waltz right in. <coughs> I don't know what I hit this time. Does Lively disappear on us? I don't know. Maybe she's having the same issue I am. I don't know. Alright, I do need to speak to uh, Wagner there, but I'm not going to speak to him without finding out the information I need to about him. Wayne. These offices are off limits to civilians, sir. Don't go in there. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, hang on just a sec. Shit. Jensen? Haas. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, well, I guess you're better at looking out for yourself than I am. I don't have time for your self-pity. I need to get into the morgue. That's it? Oh, forget it. I don't know what's going on with that body down there, but my orders come from the brass. No one gets in. First thing you say to me after almost two years is oh, you Oh boy, something? okay. Should I have given you an order? You've always been very good at following those. God damn. Where do you get off being so self-righteous? You think I like this? Look at me. From I'm looking at you. From commander to a crummy desk sergeant in the Tubit precinct. I don't need this from you. I get enough of it at home. So either come up with something better than your usual attitude, or you can just forget it, because you came to me. Hmm. Yeah, let's okay, absolve. Look, Make him feel good. Angry, and you've got a right to be. I'm putting you in a bad position, but I have to get inside that morgue. I won't let it get back to you. I'm always in a bad position. I don't see how I can possibly do this. There's so much heat right now, I'm telling you. The moment I open that door, I'm finished. 
I just got my life back together. This job is all I have. Don't make me do this. Oh. And you're right, it's not my risk to take. So I'm not gonna force you to do anything and I won't hold it against you. And what happened two years ago, I know it's killing you. We should talk about it sometime. You would do that? Look, I am so tired of having that incident wrapped around my throat. Yeah, I killed a kid. He was augmented. He was a threat. That's what you do. We had civilians to protect. I don't need people always second-guessing me on that. He's kind of pissed. <coughs> it was 15. How can you justify that? Nobody's judging you. That's not why I'm here. Give me what I want. We all make mistakes. You have to believe that and forgive yourself. Well, I know what I would do in this. We all make mistakes, Wayne. Nobody blames you for it. You have to believe that and forgive yourself or you'll never put it behind you. I, I'm not ready. There's something I've been waiting two years to tell you. I blame you, Jensen, for everything that happened. Because when the chips were down, you got the order to fire, you refused, I got stuck having to do it, and you just walked out of my life. That's when everything went to shit, when you abandoned me. Mm-hmm. Why don't you tell us how you really feel? It's in the past now, Wayne. We can put it behind us. Really? God, that's good to know. It's like... Wow. I can't believe the relief. T tell you what. Go I on. feel like it shouldn't be this easy, guys but... Bother you. And Adam... Thanks. Wait, uh, do I think who's annoyed? Okay. Oh, let's see. That's yeah, his office. I know, right? <laughs> Might seem ridiculous, but if there's one thing I've learned, these developers love to put you in an uncomfortable position <laughs> just to see what you'll do. Let's try the men's restroom then. Bingo! Alright, vent cover. Where does this go? Let's see. There might be something close, I don't know. Oh no, I have to get to the second floor for any of that. Um, hey JX, how we doing? Cannot. Oh man, you're kidding me. They're finally gonna arm us with the paps. That's right, my friend, the pulsed energy projection system. Single shot, unleashed. Firing a concussive blast so strong it'll knock down. All right, now my app is behaving properly. I don't know what what its deal is. Oh, hey, and Duke is in here too. Hey, Duke. All right. So right now everything is green. That is wonderful. So, he has a, um, wait, is that, wait, was it the, oh no, I'm not watching the Rangers and Blue Jays, but I will be watching, uh, the Red Sox and the Indians game, which, you know, is something 
I haven't really done so far this year. I've just not watched baseball. I'm not completely sure why. Okay, so the morgue is in here, apparently. But I don't want to do that just yet. Let's... Designed a gun that stops death. I remember some of the things I did um, as a kid. Is that um, kind of similar to drawing one up? You know, kind of some from imagination, because I know I've done that a lot. That's about as far as I can get to designing. <laughs> Why? Oh, duh. All right. I need those two side missions. See, I've got too many <laughs> notifi um, mission notifications going on right now. I need... <coughs> These stairs. All right. All right. He's got a vent in there, which we can, we will definitely take advantage of. Let's see here. Nope. Aha. All right. Investigate his computer. Well, I hope we can mess with it then. Damn it. I'm guessing it's not going to let me hack, though. Yep, not gonna let me. Um, damn it. Ooh, laser system. Very nice. Very nice. Alright. Um, <coughs> yeah, I really need to up that next. Alright, buddy, can you move because I don't think you're gonna take me coming out of the wall very well you're not like Ooh, boo. thank you oh nope that's an exit not sure where that goes. I really need... I'm a long ways away from earning it, aren't I? I just need one, one more Praxis point and... Yeah, I'm 2,685 away from it. Ooh. Alright, you guys... Oh, wait, maybe. Just maybe. Oh, no, I can just move that. Okay. Um... So if I can't do it there, there's another level. These... See, there are stairs here. Maybe since I was able to talk my way into it, I can just come back at a later time and just visit the morgue now. Maybe. I don't know for sure, though. Pardon me? Ooh, keypad one. I can actually hack into that. There it is. Duke is now hosting as he said he would. Thank you, Duke. So. That is probably this one. So I'll just journey through here. Yeah, so 
someone's in that office, I'm not gonna try that. Alright, this is the office. This is Officer Wagner's office. Lots of money. Oh, this... Here, hang on. I think this is the command. That should... There... What? You kidding me? Here, it's a game called Deus Ex Human Revolution. Let me... There we are. There you are, spelled that way. I'm really surprised it didn't uh, do that. Must be something wrong with the Twitch, as uh, Steve suggested. All right, we can hack in here, so we're gonna do that. I actually really like this hacking game. So, here is our starting point. Ideally, we want to get here. Um, looking around. Nothing but these folders. And even though they are folders, they won't have the information I desire. So all I really need to do is go here, go here, to here, and then I can access the sphere there. So I'll start here. <coughs> Excuse me. And we'll capture it. We've got a chance of being detected at 60%, so it's probably gonna happen. Oh, we weren't. Alright, we'll keep moving then. Still no detection. Wow, we'll get through that. Access granted. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, the hacking is very reminiscent of Black Flag. Alright. Huh. All right, now I've got something to blackmail that uh, officer with, which is going to be extremely helpful. But we can't do anything until we get, or anything further until we can upgrade our capture but we're quite a ways through with that at 15.10 there's a lot of covers around here and the traveler Oh, he got that nice looking Gears Xbox. It's pretty to look at, that's for sure. <coughs> um, back out into the hallway? Yeah, that's not what I wanted. Oh. This cop. He gets all shot up. He gets rebuilt as a cyborg. Uh, is that with Van Damme? No, that's something else. I'm surprised you never heard of it. Takes place in the future Detroit. I guess I'm just not into sci fi. Anyone want to name that movie? Anyone? Anyone? Okay. That was not very fruitful for me. Well, may as well head down to the morgue. At least I think I may as well. Ooh. No, what do we have here? And what would that be, JX? What spoiler would that be? 
because I, I don't know about anyone else, but I've played this, but you might be talking about a different game. I don't know. Sick. <laughs> Oops, that was exit to Detroit. Did not want to do that. <coughs> Of course, now I gotta figure out where in the entrance to the police station. Whoops. All right, now I'm just going to hope that the uh, that PD isn't going to hate me for being around, you know, since I technically left the environment, and then I re reset them. Nope, everything's green. All right, anyway, we are going to head back downstairs to where the morgue is. Detective offices, everything else I can look at is down below. Hey, we'll be right here, JX. No worry. All right, still down below. Where? Ooh. Oh, hey, we got some money. Got enough to buy another Praxis kit. There's the stairs, okay. <laughs> Alright, this way for the morgue. Oh, look at that, Cooper's moving. Okay, looks like I might need to find... Yep, here we are. Morgue is down here. Very down here. Wow. Hi there. Oh, look at all these lockers that I can just go through and who knows what we'll find. Another pistol. Reload speed upgrade. Might be handy. Pistol. Pistol. Truth be told, I'm sure that Cooper is a uh, little on the board side. And look at that, another energy bar. Okay, so it looks like I can just walk through. About time. You the home sec guy I was ordered to wait for? Tell Manderly I didn't get the memo until I was halfway through the autopsy. By then, it was too late to close him up again. Right. So you recovered the neural hub? Tricky bit of work that was. A few inches lower and the bullet would have fried more than just the pedal connectors. As it is, I can't guarantee you'll get anything useful out of it, other than the fact that it's been modified. Modified? With what? Some kind of wet drive. But hey, I didn't look. Ultraviolet means ultraviolet, and I know how touchy you guys get when it comes to matters of national security. He's all yours. The house has been detached, but I left it in the skull, as ordered. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got paperwork to fix. So I have to take his entire skull? Is that what you're telling me? Nuke virus software, I'll take that. Boss, I got the neural hub. Looks like it's been modified with some kind of wet drain. I don't know what happened there. Hi there, DeAndre Scott. How are you doing? Or DeAndre Scott, I guess. I don't know what happened to make that suddenly. Was it that I moved the body instead of grabbed it? I don't, I'm not sure. That's nah, fine, I don't mind coming back here. But 
But of course with us trying to do the completely no alarm stealth playthrough, <laughs> hearing that klaxon go was not a good sign. Alright, let's get back down there. We'll just grab the hub and go before anyone realizes what's happened. No way linked to humanity, oh, you do? And I went ahead and, uh, like, I got the uh, vanilla version, but I went ahead and got the um, this director's cut because I really wanted to see how they improved on the boss fights. Um, really happy they were able to make this version backwards compatible on the one as well. Was not expecting that to happen. All right. About time. Right. Tricky bit of work. We'll just skip one. the conversation this time. Some kind of wet trap. He's all yours. The hub. Boss, I got the neural hub. Looks like it's been modified with some kind of wet drive. Pritchard should have a look at it. No, don't bring it here. Frank's not finished running his diagnostic, and I don't want to risk connecting any tech to our networks till he's done. Especially if the tech is military. So what do you want me to do? Take the hub to your apartment. I'll have Frank contact you there. All right, so you might notice we also have enough experience for our next level <coughs> of capture. So we'll go ahead and upgrade that. So now we can access some of the other materials here. So first off... <laughs> eventually I want to, DeAndre. Eventually. Um, I have no idea when. I'll probably wait for the price to drop. But uh, yeah, I would, I would absolutely love to get the... to get mankind divided. But believe me, I've got a big old list of games to play and to finish with. What is right there? That was easily missable. Alright. At least now we can hack it. Oh, we get fewer attempts. Look at that. So, step into the hack. Alright, here's our starting point. Folder... Ooh, transfer. Remind me, what is that? Transfers two points between nodes. Hmm. <coughs> we can go there. there. Alright, there. So. We have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, possibly. Is this going to tell me what my own... No, it does not. Alright, we're just going to try this. We have a very high chance of being detected. Alright, we've been detected roughly 20 seconds before... Uh, it uh, stops us. But we are quicker. Alright, we will look through the emails. Oh, this one might be interesting. This is about uh, Zeke. <coughs> Excuse me. Born 1990. <laughs> Over and done. To the, to the present sensitive context, it is our recommendation that case TA-00514 regarding the terrorist attack on Seraph be filed and closed ASAP. In our opinion, the conclusions proposed at this stage of the investigation are quite satisfactory. 
I have appointed a state medical examiner to perform the autopsies on the victims. This is a critical situation and we must try to keep the information contained as tightly as possible. I am certain you understand the public relations nightmare this incident implies and will act promptly and accordingly. Have your men reassigned by the end of the day. Alright. So, with that handled... Let's see... I'm trying to keep all of the things I'm doing straight here. Um, here's what I want. Alright. Motherly ties meet with Officer Wagner. Yeah, that's the one thing we really need to do is meet with him and then... Yeah, time we had a chat, so we'll deal with that. Alright, not going to worry about S2 a whole lot. Okay, so we'll go down to the lobby and have a chat with him. But we were able to get into the police station and do what we needed to do without raising an alarm at this time. Thank goodness. Hmm. Now, those of you that are in the room, I do hope you'll join us tomorrow. I'll be playing uh, well into the evening today. But uh, tomorrow we'll be uh, hitting up a truly classic game, Banjo-Kazooie. I don't need to go this way. Uh, it'll be my first playthrough, uh, but I know a lot of people have played it and love it. <laughs> so, yeah, should be fun. All right, this is the fellow we need to have a talk yeah. with. What do you want? Information. Then go bother the receptionist, Chrome Boy, instead of wasting my goddamn time. Not that kind of information. I want to know about the Seraph Industries case. Ha <laughs> ha! And I want a blowjob in a vintage 05 bar GT, so I guess we both keep on dreaming. Huh, metalhead? I know you handle the critical evidence linked to the case, and I want to know about it. First off, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And second, even if I did, what makes you think I give a shit about what you want? Now, I strongly suggest you take your high-tech toaster-looking ass out of my way before I handle you. Strong words. You're a real poet. Tell me, is that how you plan to handle the judge when they prosecute you for perjury, possession, and intent to distribute? What the hell are you Ooh. babbling about, Chrome Boy? Funny story. There's this guy, Blaine Lopez. Deals dope near City Airport. A real scumbag. You know him? Because I have a nice little chat record between him and you. So you want to go to jail? Or you want to tell me what I want to know? How the hell do you... <sighs> Shit, man. Now listen. I, I just did what was asked of me. I, I didn't have a choice. Talk. Okay, look. I just came in one morning, and there was an email with my new assignment in it. Official business. But there were also specific instructions. I had to check out the lab for footage from an IntelliCam. They told me to take it and leave it near a garbage can somewhere near the lake. What was on it? Well, it's not crystal clear, but mainly... It shows the boys who attacked Seraph as they were breaching the labs. And it looked like they were bringing something in with them. Eh, impossible to tell what. Who asked you to do this? You think I know? Orders are orders around here. They always come from above. And nobody asks questions. You just do what they say, and you hope you don't end up like Secretary Haas over there. No Alright, we got the information we need. And we can return to Cassandra Reed. At any time. <coughs> Truly, that could not have gone smoother. I don't think so. Well, Cooper's now awake. He appears to be uh, giving himself a little bath. Pretty self-sufficient pup when he wants to be. All right. Jensen, I have a message for you. From one of your former colleagues. <coughs> a detective Alexander. Jenny, what did you want? She said she could use some help if you can make your way over to Grand River Road. And might I just add, as wonderful as it is to have you back at the office, I am not your personal dating service. Mm -hmm. And of course, Deus Ex is uh, not immune to the problem I think most RPGs have 
where everyone wants to come to your guy for help with one thing or another. Okay. So I think we'll hit up uh, side mission two here. <coughs> oh, no, wait. I didn't realize how close to the limb clinic I was. We'll go here and purchase another uh, Praxis point. Because you can never have too many of those. Now, the one thing I've noticed, uh, I don't know if it's because we're on the... Uh, Xbox One or because of the uh, Director's Edition, but the loading times are incredibly quick, violent? comparatively. Will you be purchasing anything today? I believe I will, thank you. Alright, just buy the one, and they're sold out on the Praxis points now. Uh, I have no idea if I need Always either of those. Pleasure, sir. All right, so they're out of Praxis points now. I hit the wrong button again. So, augmentations. We have one Praxis point available. Hmm. Decreases the chances of detection when capturing or fortifying nodes. So, that... Oh, that only costs one! Hmm. Well, don't mind if I do. Decreases chances of detection by 15%. 30 and 45. Wow. Alright. Start, uh... I don't know if we'll be closing out any of these side missions or how long they go. I don't remember. I remember this came out, or when it came out. I was working at a uh, home furnishing store uh, that happened to sell video games because, you know, why not? And it was... I wonder what's up here. And it was one of the games I was really excited for, mainly because of the cinematic trailer they put out. It, it was wonderful. Um, and can we... Whoa, whoa, level four. Not hacking that any day soon. But, um, no, I remember getting so excited for its release that I actually <laughs> invited co-workers to my place to look over the game. Because, you know, it's, um, it's a third-party game, and it's rated M, so we could not have anyone uh, over to showcase it. Uh, and, of course, we couldn't uh, show it off at the store because of its rating. Uh, and I think only one of my co-workers bothered to show up. Yeah, very disappointing. Alright, now we can access this one, though. So I'll hack this. Alright, start point. What's the spam do? <coughs> Decreases diagnostic subroutines rating by one. All right. Oh, but we have two storage nodes. So these these uh, cubes or squares you see there. If I go there, I can gain some nice tools, possibly. And of course, the one will be the easier to capture. Wow, that was... <laughs> Did you see that? That was about to raise its alarm. Alright, only three other attempts. Hang on, I'm going to disconnect so that I can go into my inventory. Because I need to figure out what the uh, nuke virus does. While hacking, use it to capture a node instantly and with a 0% chance of detection. Oh, okay. 
Hello, Leon. How we doing? Welcome to the stream. <coughs> you know, I'm interested in what uh, VR is eventually going to do. Uh, you know, for anyone. But I am concerned about the way PlayStation is implementing it. You know, they did it in such a way that it's uh, cheaper for everyone. But I'm concerned that by using PlayStation Move, it's not going to be as rich an experience as it could be. Now, hey, I could be wrong. I haven't tried it myself, but that is just my... Uh, Uh, just my take on it, I suppose. Still, I don't know that I, I want to get into um, VR. I'm just not sold on it. Probably because I haven't played it. So, yeah. Alright. Let's try this again. Damn. And I used up all of my toys. System lockdown. Oh, all right. Damn, even the gate is built in such a way to prevent me from hopping it. <coughs> And just a little more of a boost. Let's try this out. Huh. No, no, it's not gonna hold. <laughs> hey, you know, um, when I go to Taco Bell, I, I'll admit I've been trying for that, but I'm not expecting to win, you know? Well, sure, I'm on the other side, but I would like to not have to jump like that, so... Access denied. Ooh. Yeah, I'm just not gonna mess with that anymore. Alright, <laughs> which one was... Side two, lesser evils. Oh, locate Tyndall's apartment building. All right. So. Level one. Oh? Now, oh, why do you say that, Leon? Like I said, I haven't tried it out, so I don't really have much of an opinion either way. <coughs> Interesting starting point. Access granted. Well, that was easy enough. All right, we got more experience from that uh, reward. Okay, we need to investigate his computer. Doesn't even look like he's really uh, lived here, does it? And it's unlocked. We got a pistol. And credits, I will take those. Zero, 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 two. Just 
cut the off! Come on, man! I need my new buzz! The shit hurts! All right. Lay down. Pocket secretary, I really don't know how else I would have gotten out of that. But of course, I also have no idea if that hurt my, uh, you know, no alarm playthrough or not. Only one way to find out, I guess. Alright, well, I really don't want to, but now I have to use the code I was given. Alright, let's see here. Never tried VR for Oculus and Vibe, but I will. You know, I'm... I'm sure there's some really great ideas in VR, but, you know, I'm, I'm kind of with Leon. I don't know that the... Uh, I don't know how comfortable it's going to be, but I also don't know if all of the tech is there, especially with some of the games that we're used to don't playing. Don't kill me, man! Whatever I did, I'm sorry. Jensen? What are you doing? I think you know why I'm here, Tyndall. I want Corella's security footage back. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm Seraph Industries' chief of security. I'm pretty sure I can find out about an edited security tape, so don't bullshit me. Ah, oh, shit. Listen, Jensen, I never wanted things to get this bad. I'm not a bad guy. I feel for Corella, I really do. But sometimes, for a good cause, you have to get your hands dirty. Oh. There's a good cause now? Oh, I see. You think I'm selling the stuff, right? I understand why this would seem like an obvious motive, especially to an ex-cop. But trust me, you shouldn't always take things at face value. I'm not selling you know, the what's rocks. going on here? I'm giving it away. Giving it away? To who? To the people who need it. You think everyone gets augmented by choice? No. Shit happens. And then what? You're saddled with neuropazine injections for the rest of your life. And that shit costs money. But what choice do you have? Without the drug, you'll die. Rejection syndrome, crippling pain, that just ain't right. So I did the only decent thing to do. I stepped up. Oh, well, let's see. I don't care about your reasons. I can respect that. But blackmail is still blackmail. Corella wants out, and I'm here to make sure he gets out. Man, this whole thing is becoming way too much trouble. I've even got two local pushers on my back because they say my philanthropic actions are undercutting their profit. That's not your only problem. A gun-toting client was waiting for you in your apartment earlier. Really? In my apartment? Shit, the dealers probably sent him. Tell you what, I'll deal with the client later. You take care of the dealers, and the footage is yours. Okay, I'll help you out. But you better not be playing me. You give me way too much credit, Jensen. I'm a security tech, not a hardened mobster. The two bushers go by the name PG and BK. They hang out in the oh, that's creative. <laughs> Just make sure they never bother me again. Deal. Okay, so... We can worry about that part later. But I want to get to... Uh, S3 and M5 here. Oh, looks like someone's going to get into his doggy bed here. Yeah, he's trying to get comfy right now. See, this is usually his bedtime. Let's see... Uh oh, hang on. Oh, your DLC finished downloading? Well, hey, DeAndre, it was great to have you come on in here. Thanks for stopping in. Hope you have a good day. Uh, 
All right, we know where they are, but I'm not going to deal with them right this second. Actually, you know what? I'm here, so I may as well. We'll try talking to them, but I doubt that's going to, to do anything. Because you don't. You an ex-banger? You got the look. Maybe you know the big ant. He's been busting DRB heads for years. I wouldn't get on his bad side, though. He's not too picky about which heads get busted. No, one you of them's to armed. Me, Cause you I don't. wouldn't get on his bad side, though. He's not too picky about which heads get busted. I wouldn't get on his bad side. All right, they're just going to repeat their business. Oh, is there a vantage point I can... Yeah, let's try up here. <coughs> Since I've got the uh, tranquilizer darts... Oh, hello! Never know when you'll need that. Oh, shoot, that reminds me. Um, I should have in my inventory. Mm, no? Oh, that's right. I picked it up, but then the uh, alarm sounded. Yo, All right. That's all I had to do. What the hell? It's probably because I had my gun out. Oops. So hey, Leon, I see that uh, <laughs> that you have Twitch Prime, huh? I I haven't dived into what it offers. Are you liking it? Alright, we'll put that away first <laughs> before we move on here. Oh, I'm starting to be in dire need of some uh, trank darts. I will happily take everything they had on them. Because I'm just that kind of guy. All right. Oh, I can go back to Tyndall or whatever his name is. Look, I told you. If you want me to give you that... I've taken care of the dealers. Now hand over the footage. Thanks, Jensen. Listen, I know it's not something you... Listen, Tyndall, I know you're trying to... Seriously? You'd really do that? There we go. Added one data storage device. Now we just have to return to Corella at some point. But again... Um, yeah, let's head back this way. Haven't used any offers. Yeah, I, I saw that Hearthstone one, but I don't know. Is it uh, relegated to only using it on a computer? Or is that uh, available for the mobile app as well? I also haven't messed with the... Uh, oh, what do you call it? The... Uh, subscriber a month deal it, to my understanding the way it works is once a month you get to choose someone to subscribe to and uh, you know once the month is over then you can pick someone different if you want all right yeah this way is the way I need to go hey boy Cooper hi oh, are you trying to trying to be cute right now Hi, boy. Uh, I honestly don't know. I have no idea, Leon. 
Um, I haven't uh, downloaded it for uh, PC or Mac. I just have the iOS version. <coughs> Alright, so this is where Jensen's apartment is. And this will advance our main story here. Where are you, Jensen? I haven't gone all night. Hello, Pritchard. I'm almost in my apartment now. Well, when you do get in there, connect the neural hub to your computer. <coughs> I've created a secure tunnel, and I'll take over remotely. You can access my personal computer. Who do you think configured your security protocols? Have you found anything? All right, we'll talk to her first. I've got to know what really happened to make it. I've investigated all of Detective Chase's leads. You were right. Something was off with Megan's case. So, what did you find? All right, let's show each of these There were only three people pieces. who got out of the labs alive. Me and two others. One died in the hospital a few days later. The second one, a lab tech, was ready to give a detailed description of what he saw. Funny thing is, by the time the investigators got to him, he couldn't remember a thing. You sound like you don't believe that. I don't. Not from the reports I've read. I think someone got to him first. An officer assigned to the case was asked to get rid of a major piece of evidence. Footage from one of our IntelliCams showed fuzzy images of the attackers bringing something inside the labs. What? What were they bringing in? I don't know. But for someone higher up to want that evidence gone, it must have been important. I got my hand on a test report that confirms what was bothering Chase. The attackers used excessive measures to make bodies and equipment unidentifiable. Oh my god. God, Megan, what do you make of this, Adam? I don't know exactly. I guess the idea was to leave no traces, no DNA evidence that would link back to them. But it just seems a bit too convenient. Doesn't everything? And Someone in the, the last part? A man named Manderley ordered that a specially appointed medical examiner perform the autopsy. He bypassed the local ME. Simply put, that's not a good sign. It sure doesn't sound good. So what you're telling me is we couldn't find anything conclusive? No, I'm sorry. But one thing's for sure. Somebody's been hard at work covering up and destroying evidence related to this case. Somebody with power. Who wanted to erase anything that might have made the investigation linger. I'm sorry, Cassandra. I wish I had more tangible answers to give you. It's all right, Adam. I'm sure you did all you could. At least now I know my instincts were right. And, um, do you... Do you know exactly how Megan died? Yeah, definitely don't want to go with that. <laughs> I read the reports. She didn't suffer, Cassandra. I can promise you that. Thank you, Adam. It's not much, but it still brings me some comfort. I miss her so much. Don't worry, Cassandra, this is not over. I don't know how or when, but I will get to the bottom of this. I knew I was right to trust you, Adam. But please, be careful. It's strange. I thought knowing what really happened would make me feel better. But nothing will ever justify this. My daughter is gone, and I'll never get her back. I wish. I wish I could be sure she gets justice. Trust me, she will. All right, we got another practice point. Cooper. He made the laptop fall. Don't mind him. But yes, 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 I have been asking for uh, donations in order to uh, partially supply or uh, in order to try and get a uh, capture card so that I can start uh, streaming more games and more varieties of them. 
All right, let's... Oh, may as well bring it up to level three. I mean, why not? I'm a hack, hack, hacker. All right. We'll head on up. Now that I've almost cleared everything else I can do. I got that side mission still, but we'll worry about that later. Yay, home. Hey, anyway, what? I mean, it's. I, I figure it's easier to ask you guys than to continually hound Gary. Uh, <laughs> uh, I know that sounds horrible, but it is kind of the truth. Um, but really, that way I should be able to use that laptop or even the iMac we've got in order to stream. You know, some Wii U titles, some 360 games, and, uh, you know, in the future, who knows what. Maybe I'll pluck up a, uh, I wonder what that is. Maybe in the future I'd pluck up a, uh, more retro console and, uh, do something there. Yeah, not gonna worry about turning the TV on. Combat rifle, huh? Like, really? Yeah, we got an ebook. Cooper seems very concerned about something. I'm not sure what, though. Alright, got another ebook over here. That was one we needed for the experience. Another combat rifle. Just laying them around like nothing. Alright, heck. Pritchard, the hub's connected. I know. Now be quiet and let me concentrate. I need his name, Pritchard, not his entire genetic history. That's not his DNA. It's the data he was trying to steal from us before he... My god, Jensen. Your suicide hacker didn't kill himself. You obviously didn't see his brain spidered all over the floor. No, no, you don't understand. The wet drive modification in this chip, it allows someone to hack through you. It turns you quite literally into a human proxy. So he wasn't working alone. Someone off-site was doing the actual hacking. Exactly. And whoever it was tried to hide his location by using multiple satellites. But I may have just traced him to here. An abandoned factory complex in Highland Park. Get me the address, Pritchard. Because if we're lucky, whoever pulled our terrorist strings might still be there. Now we have a new access code. Sweet! Hmm. So here's the thing that upsets me, is this email. I'm so sorry, when Megan died, nobody knew what to do with Kubrick, so I took him in. But I couldn't keep him, and nobody knew if you'd wake up, so I didn't know what else to do. I'm sorry he was a sweet dog. Like, really? Mm. People never truly know what to do with pets, and I find it so upsetting. Oh, and to make matters worse, there's a picture of him. Adam, it's David. Let me guess. You're sending me to Highland Park. Not just yet. Frank's figured out why the network's been compromised. There's a persistent transmission coming from Derelict Row. Street gang territory? Well, our dead friend was posing as an Antioch. Who better to hide with than the D-Row Ballers? 
Right. I'm on my way. Mr. Taggart went on to his... Alright, that's not where it is. You guys saw that information about there being a safe. So I'm wondering where it's placed. It's truly not like there's a lot here. Oh, hello. Painkillers. Why not? Oh, right here. Hello. Dedicated terminal. Five, three, seven, five. Well, this is the good stuff. Armor piercing system. Automatic cloaking or unlocking device. Remote controlled explosive device. Can I not take anything? Maybe I need to up my uh, inventory earlier than I thought. Here, I'll take the painkillers, though. That should help a little bit. You know, I didn't want that. All right, I guess we'll worry about the rest later. Ah, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm eventually hoping to get the Elgato. I have no idea which one, I just know that I want the first one I get to have that HDMI pass-through. So, you know, ideally I can still stream and have this big old TV be my primary display. Uh, I'm just not sure how the camera's going to look. <coughs> Hi, boy. Oh no! Don't you dare reject that disc. You would make you'd make uh, Daddy very angry. Jensen, I'd appreciate it if you instructed your street informants to use more conventional means of contacting you. What are you talking about, Richard? I mean, I found a message stapled to your door. Colo, alley off Bagley Avenue, Ezekiel. How cryptic. That's near Seraph HQ. I'll look into it. Oh, and it's Cholo. Meet the mysterious informant. Worry about that. Well, I'll be headed in that direction. I think, anyway. Dog streams are the way forward. No, I, I really... He's... He kind of does his own deal. Um, but I, I love it when he tries to pop his head into the stream. Well, Steve, you haven't really um, brought up how your day's going. What happened with your stream today? Did you get it yet? Adam, please. You have to get that security. The footage. mysterious boyfriend. Da, 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 da. <coughs> I got the footage. You owe me one, Tim. Yeah, you got that right, Jensen. I mean, thank you so much. This is my life I just got back. Listen, I, I got a hold of a weapon mod. It's not much, but I figured a guy in your line of work could use it. Listen, I know you were trying to do a good thing, and I respect that. But you should do it through proper channels. Next time you might not get this lucky. Yeah, you're right, Adam. I know you're right. Listen, thanks again. All right, now that that conversation is over. Thanks. Hey, how you doing, Gary? How's work? 
You know that thing you're supposed to be doing? No. <laughs> I kid, I kid. Um, let's just drop this. I don't know what this is. Laser targeting system. Ooh. Gimme. The machine? But really? Lame. It was actually... Mysterious as a weird dude standing in your bedroom hiding under the curtains. Pretty much. You know, as horrible as that as uh, that uh, description is, that is very apt. He is definitely like Keanu Reeves and Batman. He has all the toys and none of the charm. <laughs> oh, no, I love you. Someone has to give you crap. May as well be me. Ah, uh, hello. I see you got my message, Cabrón. Sanders. You're taking a risk meeting this close to Seraph headquarters. Same risk as you, considering you're the one who let me go. But I don't plan to stick around that long. Yeah? So what's this about? I did some house cleaning after the plant. And I turned up some intel on that gearhead motherfucker who used me and my brother. Chink left the pocket secretary behind. Don't say who he was working for, but it's got access codes, names, shit like that. Why are you giving it to me? Maybe I don't like feeling like I owe you. Or maybe I figured I'd send a snake to kill a snake. Take or to leave it, pendejo. Either way, my debt is paid. Well. Alright, babe. I will see you later. Um, you know, probably when you get off, whenever that ends up being. And just as quickly as he arrives, there he goes. All right. Um, such is his life. <coughs> All right, let's head back across the way to this mission now that we have no more side missions to deal with. At least for the moment. See, as much as I like that, you know, there's this big old hub area to go around in, there's just not a lot to it. it I mean, I've seen the environments and mankind divided, and they seem so much richer, like there's so much more activity and just generally things to look at. Oh, this looks fun. Why would you book me a trick in this DRB turf, asshole. Don't try it. All right, not even going to let me in. So, I need a way inside. And this fire escape might just be my way. Okay. I think this is going the right direction at least. So that's clearly supposed to give me a boost, I think. But just to be on the safe side and to figure out where I am, that's where we try to go in. So this is definitely in the uh, gang territory. Seriously?
Don't you just love falling damage? Oh, all right. Hmm, I can move both of these. But nothing's behind them. Dang it. Oh, so that brings me back here where somehow I fell just straight down. At least it looked like I fell straight down. Well, okay then. Um. <sighs> Falling damage stinks. So, let's try a different method. Because again, clearly, that wasn't going to do me any good. Yep, nothing in that alley, otherwise. Oh, what's this door go to? Oh, this can't possibly be good. We're gonna try it anyway, because I don't know what... Turn around, Hawk. This doesn't concern you. Damn it. Can't a guy just not be seen? Maybe there's a uh, manhole cover I can find. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll at least do this while I'm here. Clearance. What is that for? Lowers all data store ratings by two. Don't need it, I don't think. Detection, 25% chance. Access granted. Got it, and without a worry. Okay. Stun gun. Kidding me? Mm. <coughs> oh, let's drop the machine pistol. So now we have two non-lethal weapons. Yay. And I've got a lot of stun gun darts. Only issue is the stun gun is a close range weapon. So, you know, there's a different kind of difficulty associated with using it. I don't want to do the frontal assault, but I am running out of options very quickly here. Well, may as well. Oh, 
know, there's too many of them for me to bother taking them out. That's not what I wanted. Thank you. <sighs> Alright, we're just gonna sneak... The old-fashioned way. Yeah, and I said, so what? Look around you. If he wants to sniff something other than whiskey and coffee, good for him. You're wrong, man. That's all I gotta say. You're just wrong. Yeah, that cloak is very useful, but uh, eats my battery up like nothing else. Okay. <coughs> Almost through. Jensen. How can I help you, Francis? You know why I'm contacting you. The transmission that's making a mockery of your security efforts? It's keeping a back door open into our network. None of us are secure unless you find the antenna that's sending it and shut it down. For you, anything. Well, I'm working on it. Yeah, he has no patience, does he? All right. It's gil, gil, gil. And by the way, guys, I do want to thank you for tuning into the stream. I mentioned it earlier, but I know not everyone probably heard it. I will be streaming Banjo-Kazooie tomorrow. So I do hope that you guys can join me for that. All right, we'll just knock him out there. Take what we can. And drag you this way. Just so that no one has to see you. Meanwhile, I'll wait for that battery to charge up and make an attempt to scout ahead. All right, two guys there. Taking out two men will be a little more difficult. Because I can't take out two with that same maneuver that I took him out with. <coughs> so I'm going to try and sneak. See? Didn't I tell you it was a stupid idea to let those purity first assholes set up camp on our turf? Yeah, but it wasn't our decision, so too bad. Besides, they paid rent like everybody else, so what's the big deal? Come on. These fucks have been coming in here promising all sorts of glory and bullshit if we join them. And all they're doing is getting us killed. You're just jealous because they never took you. After the way they fucked up their op in Milwaukee Junction, they should have just blown up that building sky high with every fucking robohogger inside it. Sanders is all talk. Then why'd you bring him up? All right, are you two going to... Yep, you're going to move. Possibly giving me a way to take you out. Except that now I don't know which direction that other guy is looking. I mean, he's able to look at him, I guess. <sighs> Here, we're going to try and use our stun gun this time, mainly because we have more ammo for it. <coughs> yep, he didn't notice. Got him. I don't know who that is or where they are. I don't feel good about this. Mm. 
Yeah, I really don't know where the where this person I heard is. You know, the one that's alarmed right now. Yeah, they don't have a whole lot on them. It looks like it's that guy in the white, in between my reticle there. But if that is the one who said that, why is he still alarmed? He's traveled pretty far. For someone that is alarmed. Okay, we're getting by so far. Oh, man, you can't never leave this area. This door gotta be guarded 24-7, you hear me? I hear you, man. That rocket launcher is sweet. Just my little surprise for the MCBs. And ain't nobody gonna jack it, you got me? I got you. I'm jacking off with the rocket launcher. Don't get smart. <laughs> Just check inside once in a while in case someone tries to get in through the vent, you feel me? I feel you. Your air vent. Through the vent, huh? Japanese. Come on. Man, why you gotta be right there? Alright, only problem I have with, uh, with being right here is now I can't see anything. But, now I seem to be in a fairly walled off area. here let's see if we can use that ammo capacity upgrade frag grenades all right let's see and we can combine it with the shotgun why why no love for the uh non-lethal means, huh? Okay, I don't know if this is the way I should go, but we're gonna take the ladder. <coughs> Excuse me, the ladder. I don't know where that came from. Not gonna be able to take on four of them. So I need to find if I'm gonna use this method a different way. That being said, this looks like the only true way through. Although.
I don't know if they can see me through the floor. But sounds like one of them is just above me. And is looking in that direction, so I don't want to try and step out. But that worked all the same. Damn it. Yeah, come closer. Oh, he's sleeping. And only sleeping, apparently, but he's gonna be real hard for anyone to find. Uh, alright. I think we have to keep going in this general direction. Oh! Hey, who are you guys? I truly do not know. I don't see anything saying you're a civilian or an enemy either way. And I do not like it. Now you got green. So you guys are All right. Hey riding wolf, welcome. How are you doing tonight? All right, where are we? knock him out because clearly otherwise he'll be a continual issue oh, I'm doing good <laughs> well hopefully we can at least make you make it so that you're entertained uh, I can't think of how it could ever make you worse okay so I need to figure out what I'm doing, because I think I took a wrong turn in actually getting closer. Or did I? Oh? Well, f for someone to pay, you'd have to catch me now, wouldn't you? Oh, I was sent to the very beginning of the area. Damn. Well, that sucks. <clears throat> Was I just caught again or no? Because I did not expect 
anyone around here. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, that, that's what I figured you meant. It's all good. I don't know what this is. But I am going to find out. Okay, I really have no idea what this is meant for. Oh, I see. We have to try and take a leap of faith, so to speak. You know what? You come here. Now, where do you go? What I want to know is where the hell is De Silva getting all this stuff? I don't know. Some Irish guy. That's it. No, no. Uh, I would love it if it was. But no, I just happen to be available to stream right now. Oops, didn't mean to interrupt your little chat. <coughs> yeah, whoever was just alerted is right below. Damn, nothing here. Keep going around. Wow. I have myself in a bit of a pickle here. <sighs> oh, you could go through the door. That works. I'll just knock you out. Nice and careful like. And I'll even move you. Back this way, I guess. Rounds or classes, huh? All right. No, I feel the only time this would become a permanent uh, time slot is if I were to get a new job. <coughs> Which, don't get me wrong, I would love to have happen, but I feel like it's unlikely. Down you go. Oh, he's sleeping. All right, let's find a way to get out of this portion. No, I've had this cough for a while. It's just a regular day off. It's the cough that just wouldn't disappear. Duck down. Okay. Oh, you guys are just people. Alright, 
boarded off. No way to get through except the sewers. Fine then. <sighs> no, admittedly I haven't. I probably should at this point, but I haven't. Like, I have no idea what that valve is going to do. I do. I am not going to like jumping over that. Don't you come near me. You won't like it. What the heck, just take your pistol ammo for the hell of it. Oh, okay, so we're back here finally. Don't want to go through there. Let's go under here again. Alright. Oh, is that the ladder I need? It might be. Can't see a thing. No, but there's the door I need. One guy walking around, two. They're just on chairs. I don't care if you're urinating. I need you out. Alright. Yo, man, I thought we had cable. How come I ain't getting nothing but pipe and poop? That's all we do get ever since that purity dude went up on the roof and hacked the antenna. Anders, friend? You let him up near the helipad? He said he'd get us born. Can you believe it? Fuck. It's always about the porn. Or when are you guys gonna move? Or well, they're paying attention to the TV, so maybe I can just sneak by them. Now what is that? Could be just a dumpster, but could be useful too. I guess we'll find out in a moment. I do not like that beeping sound I hear though. Oh, just a bunch of barrels. Bombs. That's comforting. Ow. Concussive ones, too. Did not expect that to go off. Alright. Well, now everyone is alarmed. But no actual alarm has gone off yet. You know, hell, if they're that sensitive, maybe a rodent came up to it. Right, they might have just found their friend. And they might seriously be climbing up. Alright, here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna use these and blow them up. Because I don't know how else to get past those.
Might be a little bit before they calm down after that, though. Sight do I have? Not enough. Alright, let's get the Trank Rifle. I think he's too far away for the other one. Down you go. That's the antenna I need to work on, but I bet there's people out here. Doesn't look like it, granted, but... Hmm. Alright, I'm surprised. I thought there'd be someone out here. A simple dedicated terminal that we can... should be able to hack. So start here, we've got the one, one, two data node, one, two data node. All right, pretty straightforward. Let's go. <coughs> Access granted. Got it, a stop worm and 50 experience added. Boss, is that back door still open? Frank just sent me the all clear. Now it's time to find the bastards who attacked us. Farina, are you standing by? On the line, boss. Jensen, you ready? Hey, JJ, Steph, how you doing? Here. Welcome hey, to the stream. The antenna. Richard sent me the coordinates for it. I'm coming to pick you up. Oh, and we have a Praxis point now available, too. But no, I've been doing good. Everything's moved into the new place. Now we're just trying to get settled. And this is my way of getting settled. Mr. Jensen, your limo has arrived. You ready to leave? Yeah, let's go. Great. Detroit local. This is Sarah Industries Bravo Echo Echo 008. Continuing on. Trying to keep an eye on the time. <coughs> because soon here I may have to let Cooper out. He'll be overjoyed for that. <laughs> Lately, no. Lately, I haven't. A mixture of... Uh, Mixture of no time for it and um, concentrating on other games no coordinates on the factory yet. when I do have the time. Yo, what's good, man? You looking for some new toys? I can make you a good deal. 
Might be a good idea to stock well. up. What do you have? Shit, son. We got some hot items right now. Check it out. What you need? One gas and an EMP grenade for 400. Purchase leading software upgrade for Trank Rifle. Ooh. Good idea. Here you go, son. Anything else? I could use some information. I could tell you some shit for sure. What you want to know? You guys seen anything suspicious going down around here? Suspicious ain't the word, man. All types of caravans moving in and out of here. They're going all out. Who is they? Well, that's the problem. These motherfuckers ain't consistent, for real. The feds were buying up all the land from the textile manufacturers until about a month ago. That's when some started going down in this bitch. Some real. What'd you call it before? Suspicious. Word, suspicious. Something real suspicious started happening. These spec ops moved into the factory and started running some sort of major operation. They picked off my brother for trying to set up shop in the area. Rest in peace, Big Rizzle. Yeah, Rip. These spec ops still around? Yeah, no doubt. They got a patrol unit in the courtyard, and they got snipers on the roof and shit. Oh, the snipers, is, I great. I saw some government vans lurking around, so it looks like they'd be moving their party somewhere else and making way for the feds once again. Thanks. All good. Anything else? That'll probably be it. Thanks for the offer. All good, son. Peace. And watch your back. All right, let's go back into the inventory, clear out the shoddy. Hey, it's all right, JJ. I'll be here. Pick up the target leading system. And we'll combine it with the trank. All right, let's head on in. I feel like I vaguely remember this being a hard part. I have no idea what I did to it. Oh, that was quick, JJ. All right. Oh yeah, they were two of them at the uh, attack, and there's the third one. We've been compromised. Manderley was supposed to have that morgue locked down, but somebody got to the corpse before we did. <coughs> we can still reconfigure, track this Yahoo down. It's too late for that. It's time to clean up. But what about the Dutchman? No loose ends, Barrett. I'll make the call. Malik, get out of sight, now. Why, what's going on? They're here. The mercs who killed Megan and her team. Fuck. I'm going in. All right, this is clearly gonna be a big area, so let's look at our augs. Oh, let's see. I could do it with another energy cell. Or I could increase our stealth so that it lasts longer. Here, I'll increase the battery. That way we can do more with it.
Okay. I do remember this being a big ol' issue the first time I played, so it won't surprise me if this takes a couple of tries. Two legendary skins? Very nice. Only time I've had that happen was with, um... Uh, back when the uh, summer game stuff was still going on. I don't remember what I got anymore, but... Hey, it was nice. I, I really should get back into... Ooh, hello. Get back into Overwatch, though. I really enjoyed it, but, you know... Competitive Season 2 has been kicking my butt. Alright. Newspaper. Credit chip. Pocket secretary. Probably can't even use that targeting system, can I? Yeah, I can't combine that with anything right now. Or that. Oh, more stuff to sell, I guess. Trying to be nice and careful in mind which direction this guy around here is moving. Yeah, there's a few people I've seen playing competitive mode and they are... <laughs> it doesn't matter if it uh, doesn't really give the team a chance. They will uh, camp at the uh, at the spawn point. It's ridiculous. Dedicated terminal. Is this just for the lasers? I bet it is. But I might be able to. Ooh. Clearance. Lowers all data store ratings by two. And I got it. Maybe. Access granted. Barely. <laughs> Deactivate. Someone hiding over there. Don't know who you could be talking about. Oh. <coughs> if anyone is hiding here, better come out. Suck a punch. Into the crate, apparently. Ah. <laughs> uh. All right. So, I'm missing one energy bar now. Is this what I would use to get it back? Yes. Mercy, huh? Good. I've played Mercy a few times. Lately, I'm more Lucio than anything. Yeah, I think he turned around, yeah. Oh, I must have missed.
Yeah, he's a black uh, black lab boxer mix. He's a boxador, if you will. All right. Good night. Cooper, get away from that. Not be too happy if you accidentally turn the game off. All right, I only have two Trank darts. Not good. But not much I can do about that either. What did I miss? No, there he goes. Hmm. Storage area. Actually, maybe this has some things I can use. And a vent cover. How about that? Yeah, I'll just use the vent cover. All right. Okay, I'm on the second floor, apparently. And there's our buddy all knocked out. Peaceful and such. The sniper rifle. Let's see what he's got on him. Yeah, I'll take the credit chip, if nothing else. Oh, how am I going to knock out those cameras? Man, uh, Cooper's a good dog. Uh, just over a year old now. He's actually been really good during this stream. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Sometimes if he uh, hears people outside our loft, he'll, uh, you know, get a little angry or suspicious and start barking his butt off. Apparently that's not what he wants to do today. All right. There's only one thing I can think of that will screw up the camera. Who the hell is that? Shh. Ah, crud. Yeah, I'm trying not to get noticed at all. It did not work. Mm. Mm, all the way back here. Great. Come to think of it, I'm also surprised he hasn't messed with his toys at all. Kill the laser system. Hide for a moment. I would love for there to be a Halloween event. That would be a lot of fun. Hopefully that starts up soon. Okay. You don't have anything on you. Fine then. 
Ooh, hello. First, I will take that bar. And a security hub at level 3. How about that? That we can now access. So, let's see here. Spam. Oh. Decreases diagnostic subroutines rating by one. Hmm. Hmm. Study this network a little bit here. <coughs> So 45% possible detection. Wonder, can I capture that? start here. Oh my. No, I got to disconnect. Wow. I was identified way too early. Oh, you know what? Matter of fact, disconnect again. Do I have a Praxis available? I do not, but I'm very close to earning one. <coughs> oh, this is probably the best way to kill the cameras too. I got through. It's all I care about right now. Okay. Deactivate. Deactivate. So now I shouldn't have much in my way as I go through. Get the trank ready. We'll also have that. And heck with it. Let's just have the beer. <coughs> Why not? Okay. So I will need to knock him out from afar, granted. How good the guy's sight is. So I'll also make sure to take him back and around here. Just so he's out of sight. Damn it. Waited too long. 42 meters, huh? Come on. There we go. So with the camera off, I should just be able to sneak on in. At least I got in. Now what? Richard, patch me to Seraph. We may have a problem here. Wonderful. 
Adam, talk to me. This factory, <coughs> where the hacker's signal originated, it's got FEMA signs all over it. I think it's some kind of internment camp. FEMA? That's impossible. Half of our contracts are government issued. I know. But the soldiers who attacked us are here. And from the looks of it, they've got access to some pretty impressive equipment. I better make some calls. Find out who's given the orders and get back to me. And we have a Praxis point. Beautiful. In the interest of our hacking, I'm going to increase this. Decreases our chance by 30%. How deep underground are we going? Okay, I have no idea if this is the right way, but I'm gonna go with it. Damn it. No idea why that robot is coming closer. Alright, seriously. Well, at least we got over. Alright. Ooh, I wonder what that is. And I wonder what that is. What do we got here? Rockets and a rocket launcher. Uh, that will not be conducive to the style of play I'm going for. Let's see what we have here. What level are you at in Overwatch, JJ? I I think I'm 50 or 51. Oh, hi there. I'm hiding from you. <laughs> okay. Maybe I just need to go through there. It'd be great if that was all I needed. But the way it's looking, it's very possible we might... Uh, have to stop before we finish this area, you know, which is fine. Just not what I would have preferred.
Who's the Dutchman? Alright, no idea if I need to use that ladder or not. You're coming pretty close, buddy. Hi, Koopy. Just take care of you right quick. No one will miss your body here. And you won't miss your credits. Where would this go back? Is there something I need in here? Combat rifle ammo. Over there. Oops. Let's just close that door. How about that? We'll forget all about. I hope. Uh, computer, huh? You know what, I'm going to read these pocket secretaries right quick. Maybe some of these will enable me to just, uh, punch in some numbers. Sec hub login password spax or neural hub. First, let's open all the doors and shut off the camera. Hello, how do they have typhoon ammo? It's fine, I'm not that worried. They really expect me to go in here guns blazing, don't they? Alright, got another computer here. Yes. <coughs> I have no idea what this computer may have on it. Maybe it'll be useful. One data storage that's going to be very difficult to get past.
Actually, not that difficult. Okay. Ah, oh, damn it. We'll just go to the latest autosave. Note to self, don't stand around just messing with the computers. They're still moving. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it there. I need to, I need to let a certain pup out. But again, I do want to thank you guys for tuning in. Tomorrow we'll be doing some Banjo-Kazooie, and for those of you that may not know, I've also got this YouTube channel going, so that you can uh, go and look at some of the other streams we've done lately, including the entirety, uh, entire playthroughs for Assassin's Creed, uh, Shadows of Mordor, and a, a little bit of Overwatch. There's some <laughs> good plays in there, some not some good plays. But it's all a good time. Uh, anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow with Banjo. And until then...